All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. Some of this footage is about two, three days old. Um, I took a little break from uploading, but I went to the park yesterday, so I wanted to make a video for you guys. At the end of this video, it's going to have the in-park footage and something I want to talk about. So as you just saw there, you're going to hear me reference a lighthouse. So the lighthouse is um, in the back area getting ready to be lifted in. I have a feeling when I go check in on it today, some of it might be installed. Over in Splashworks, they were installing this new little like highlighted section where you enter the wave pool. Moosehorn Falls is progressing so quickly um, with the erecting the pieces into place. So this was filmed two days ago. And then what you're going to see yesterday, you're going to see um, they even worked on Saturday, I believe, Friday or Saturday, Friday. Um, and you're going to see that they're moving along really quickly. So the slide still has a lot of work to do, including plumbing, but, um, it's, it's getting there, you know, it's getting there. So not all hope is lost. Um, so as you see here, there's the lighthouse. Um, and I'm trying to think, yes, they moved it from over there to over here. And then obviously this is a uh, pre-location to get it for install onto those concrete blocks that they poured onto the actual um, dock there for the show, Castaways. So definitely really excited about that because it's one of Wonderland's most beautiful set pieces. In terms of Project 2025, there's been absolutely no progression outside of stuff going on in the mountain. Um, now, I have some footage that I'm just asking Wonderland for permission. I'm going to ask if I can use it in a video before I post here, but it's from inside the mountain from a tour. Um, so I just want to get Wonderland's permission to use that before I post it and use it in a video. I was going to upload it today, but I was like, you know what? I know Wonderland. I'm going to ask permission first, um, and then hopefully we can use it. Uh, but yeah, here you go. Here's Moosehorn. They're installing some pieces. This was from the drone. I will say after filming in person... I do like the drone shots a lot better. Um, in person, it was really cool to see it, but the drone shows a lot more. So I'm going to continue to do drone shots of Moosehorn. It's just easier. Um, it's less invasive. I feel a lot less awkward being in there filming with a, a, a camera. But um, nonetheless, this is it in person. Um, if you saw my previous shot, sorry, I totally just glossed over that. Uh, that is stage setting pieces for the Food and Wine Festival. It's nothing to do with Project 2025, so don't panic. I'm not ignoring it. Um, it's Food and Wine Festival staging, so nothing important, um, even though I'm really excited for that festival. Uh, but nonetheless, Moosehorn, yeah, as you can still see, still a lot of work to do. You know, they got a lot of concrete work, got some plumbing to connect to the actual water slide, got to send the, plum the plumbing tube up to the actual water slide top. Um, but we are just waiting on the concrete people to be finished. That's what we're waiting on, um, for them to start project 2025. So, you know, hopefully they are nearing the concrete. People are very close to being done. Um, but yeah, this water slide is probably going to open last week of June, early July at best. So an important question I want to talk about is it appears that project 2025 is really far behind. And I wanted to talk to you guys about that because it's actually not. Um, so when they start building coasters, they start really early. So I'll use Yukon, for example. Yukon did its footings first and then track installation and then the station work, the electrical, which is a, a very long process. I want to point out to you guys that the electrical work for Project 2025 is done. So what we saw was almost like a vice versa of Yukon. So they went in, they installed electrical work down that first little launch leading into Tunnel 3. The station's electrical work is already ready to go, laid out. Um, so they're well under their way. So don't panic. From what we've been told, construction is going to start on this coaster. And when it starts, it's going to be full force. Um, you're going to see the park speak very openly about this project and not pretend like it doesn't exist like Yukon Striker. Um, so I expect a, a really cool teasing campaign um, and a lot of interaction from the park on this project. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, so I just wanted to touch on that because I know a lot of people are like, Brennan, are you sure it's still 2025? Did Top Thrill 2 get in the way? This, this, that, that. Don't worry. They're not as far behind as it appears. They are actually well under their way um, in terms of this project. So trust me. Just trust the process. Um, we will be getting a coaster in 2025. 
um, and it's going to be really cool. So yeah, thanks so much for watching today's construction update. Obviously, stay tuned because things will start to ramp up the minute Moosehorn is done. Um, so we're just waiting on Moosehorn to finish for us to start doing you know a lot more daily construction updates. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.